What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So earlier on this week, if you have the AirPods Max, the over-ear headphones made by Apple, you probably know that Apple released a new firmware version for those AirPods. But today, I'll be happy to let you know that if you have the AirPods Pro 2, whether it's Lightning or USB-C and the AirPods 4, Apple has released a new beta, take note, a new beta firmware version for these airpods and in this video i'm going to be telling you all about the new firmware version and how you can update your airpods to the new beta firmware version unlike the previous airpods pro 2 and airpods 4 beta firmware version the one that has been released today has a more stable build number and just to show you the build number that i have on my airpods pro 2 right here you can see they are connected on this iphone and if i go into settings they pop up i'll go right there and if i go all the way down down, you can see when I go to this case version, you can see 74.5.0 and the build number or the version that we have right here is 7E67B. So that's currently not the latest build number because the new one ends with an A. In fact, the new build number is 7E5080. A and in terms of beta testing when you have a build number that ends with an A it usually means that version is more stable compared to one that has a higher letter in the alphabet which is good now Apple officially told us how to actually update our AirPods to the firmware version but those are official firmware releases and not the beta releases and so in this video i'm going to begin by showing you first how you can update your airpods to the latest beta firmware version the new release version is only available to developer beta testers so this is how you can update your airpods pro 2 or the airpods 4 into or onto a beta firmware version. The first step to follow if you want to update your AirPods onto a beta firmware version is to actually go into your settings like this and make sure that your iPhone is put into developer mode. And in case you don't see this developer mode, you know, you just open your settings and on your settings homepage, if you go all the way down, there should be a developer mode but if you don't see this developer mode then this is how you can enable developer mode on your iphone what you want to do is get the latest version of xcode first onto your mac and you can see you can search it up on google and you see the official developer.apple.com website and if you click on xcode you can download the official version but if you go on the drop down arrow you can see we have xcode betas and what we want to get is the latest beta version of xcode just make sure you sign in with your apple id and then once you're signed in you're going to see a pop-up window that comes up just like this and you can see the latest version of xcode that we have is xcode 16.3 beta and you can see the details for it so i'll click here on the zip file so that we download this latest version of xcode and then once it's done we install it i'm quickly going to click on this uh, zipped file for xcode so that i can uh, install it and you can see it's expanding the zipped file and uh, right there you can see it's expanding we'll give it a few seconds the application is now right there and if I double click it just to install it, you can see it's now opening the Xcode beta. Now, this is not a necessary step. You actually don't have to download any emulator right here. So I can uncheck this, but since this device is running on Mac, it has by default to add the Mac OS platform. And you can see this is actually built into Xcode. And then I'll just click where it says install. And you can see now it's installing system components. It's just finished right now and you can see the Xcode window has opened up. I had to drag it here because it opened on my main device and if I press function control C just to center it, this is the window that we want. With this window open, what you want to do is follow the next step, which is to take a USB-C to USB-C cable. If your iPhone has a lightning connect and then you want to take a lightning to USB-C and what you want to do is plug one end of the cable into your iPhone that is connected or paired with your AirPods Pro or your AirPods 4 that you want to update to the beta version that has just been released. And then you want to take the other end of the cable and plug the plug it into your Mac or computer that has the latest version of Xcode beta running. So I'm going to quickly just plug this into my Mac. 
Once both ends of the cables are connected, one end into your iPhone, the other into your Mac, you can now go into settings. And when you go to the section that says privacy and security right there, you can go all the way down and you see a section that says just under security developer mode. And you want to go ahead and turn on that developer mode. You can see for me, it's already turned on. But if you're doing this for the first time, it might prompt you to restart your iPhone. So just do that. And then once your iPhone phone restarts you can then again come into the settings and developer mode will be activated when you go into your settings and go to where it says privacy and security you will see that it's turned on and now what you want to do is go to the home page of the settings just like this and go all the way down you can see we have a section that says developer and if you click there you can see you have now have access to a bunch of new developer tools that you know if your iPhone is in, not in developer mode you won't have access to this but the section that we now want is the pre-release beta firmware updates and if you click there you notice that this is for airpods testing if you click there you can see that pre-release beta program is turned on at least for me for all my airpods devices so you want to go ahead and turn it on if you are going to be putting your airpods 4 onto the developer framework then you want to turn it on for the airpods that you want to test and once you are done that's basically all that you need to do and now you that your iphone is in pre-release developer beta mode for airpods it's going to be able to release to get the firmware update over the air so now just make sure that your airpods are connected to your iphone that has the beta or the developer mode enabled rather and then according to apple this is how you follow the steps to be able to get your airpods to update to the latest firmware version now that our iPhone is in beta mode. It's simply just like a normal AirPods firmware update. So this is the procedure to update your AirPods regularly according to Apple. Step number one, make sure that your AirPods are in Bluetooth range of your iPhone, iPad or Mac that's connected to Wi-Fi. So iPhone connected to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is on and the AirPods are now in close range. So this is step number one. Step number two, put your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid. If you have both pods out or just one pod out, they are saying take the pods and then put them back in the case just like this and then close the lid. Make sure they are relatively close to the iPhone, iPad or Mac that you are using to update your AirPods of course. Step number three, plug the charging cable into your charging case then plug the other end of the charging cable into a usb charger or port that means you take one end of a charging cable this is a usb c end because these are the usb c airpods pro if you have the lightning then you want to connect the lightning end of your cable into your airpods and then this end of the cable goes and plugs into a wall mount charger or if you have a mac also if you have an iphone you can take one usb c end of this cable and plug it into your iphone iPhone and then plug the other end into your AirPods and it will automatically begin to charge. Also, if you have an Apple MagSafe charger or Apple Pack charger, then you can also use the wireless charging method. I've tested it and it works. So according to this step that we just read, we want to make sure that our AirPods are plugged in and charging. So simply just do that. And then of course, the light indicator will tell you that they are charging. Step number four is to keep the lid of the charging case closed and wait at least 30 minutes for the firmware to update. Now, even though Apple mentions to wait at least 30 minutes from my experience and testing that I've seen, this step actually takes about 15 to 20 minutes on average for me. I've covered a lot of AirPods updates videos and on average, it's about 15 to 20 minutes, but Apple says wait at least 30 minutes for the firmware to update. Step number five, open the lid of the charging case to connect your AirPods to your iPhone, iPad or Mac. Now, this is a pretty simple step since I'm demonstrating this using my iPhone. Obviously, I'm going to bring my iPhone and my AirPods close just like this and open the case. And then once the connection has been established like this, we can move on to step number six, which says check the firmware version 
again. So if you've gone through the six steps that are highlighted for the AirPods and AirPods Pro on how to update your firmware version, or maybe if you have the AirPods Max and you've done these five steps and it didn't actually update the firmware and you are having issues, Apple says you can reset your AirPods and then try to update the firmware again. Now to reset the AirPods, it's actually pretty simple. Apple says put your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid and wait for about 30 seconds. Mine have been in their lid for more than that. So if I go into the Bluetooth right here and then go to my AirPods Pro 2 right here, I have to forget this device, which is also highlighted right there. So I'll click forget just right now, which is actually what it highlights here on the second step. So on an iPhone and or the iPad that's paired with your AirPods, go into settings. If your AirPods appear in the my device list, then you want to tap the forget and then confirm, which is what I've just done. And if your AirPods don't appear in the list, continue to the next step, which is actually what's highlighted here. And now the next step says, open the lid of your charging case. Boom, just like this. And now I'm just gonna close this. And then it says, depending on which AirPods you have, press the setup button on the back of your case or tap the front of the case. These ones that I have here are the AirPods Pro 2 USB-C, so they have the button at the back. And the cool thing about this is actually, if you have the AirPods 1, 2, 3, or the AirPods Pro, there's actually a guide on how to do this. So it will say, press and hold the setup button on the back of the case for about 15 seconds until the status light on the front of the case flashes amber and then white you can now reconnect your AirPods. And there's a small video here that's gonna tell you how to do that. So I'm going to press and hold this back button on my AirPods Pro until this light turns amber and I'll continue to hold until this light turns to white. So I'll press it just like this and then I'm gonna continue to hold it. So it flashed amber and now it's flashing white and you can see once it's now flashing white, I don't have to keep holding. I can let go of this button at the back. And now you can see it's flashed amber. Now it's flashing white. And that means that it's ready to pair. And you can see what it says here on the iPhone now. It, say, it doesn't say not your AirPods anymore. It says AirPods Pro. And now I can click where it says connect and boom. It made, a, it made a chime and the status light went to uh, green. And now it's telling me about the different things that I can do, media and core control. Uh, and now it's showing me the charging status of my AirPods Pro. And now I can click done. So that's how you reset your AirPods Pro. And yeah, keep in mind that the instructions are pretty much similar on how to reset your AirPods, whether it's one, two, three, four or the pro or the airpods 4 and then if you have other devices of course you know that support certain features such as um, respond by moving your head during the setup process like this you are going to see a pop-up just like what i see right now and if you had the if you have the airpods max you can then reset your AirPods Max following this instructions that you see right here. I'm going to leave a link to this page in the description of this video, and you can see how you can reset your AirPods Max. And then once you know this light flashes a certain color and so on, you can repair. And once you've reset and then reconnected like what we've done, Apple says, then try to update your firmware again. So once we've done that, we can restart these six steps for the AirPods, AirPods Pro, or if you have the AirPods Max, once you've reset and reconnected, you can restart these five steps. So it's pretty simple. I like that Apple gave us more of a step-by-step -step guide. You, there isn't really a way that we can actually turn off automatic updates for these AirPods. I wish, you know, they would give us a pretty similar way, just like how we update our iPhone, go into settings, general, and then software update. If you want, you can update to it or update your iPhone. If you don't want the update, you can actually switch it off and then, you know, you won't see the update. But for the AirPods, we don't have that level of control yet. I hope Apple 
adds it so that's how you update your airpods according to apple on how you can update the firmware version of your airpods whether it's regular airpods airpods pro or the airpods max if you like this video and found it helpful in a way leave a like and subscribe and uh pretty much it's pretty much the same steps as what we've been we've been doing before so just make sure they are connected charged and they will simply update my name is ben and i'll see you in the next video peace